The Bids tab in QuickBid displays every bid inside the currently selected database. If the bid you want isn't in that database, try selecting a different one using the Bid Navigator panel on the left side of the screen. If you don't see the Bid Navigator, you can open it from the View menu or click the name right above the My On Center tab to access it. All right, let's look at the bids on screen. The icon next to each bid tells you if the bid is interactive with on-screen takeoff. For example, a bid with a green OST icon is interactive. A bid with a page with a dollar sign is not. Bid date colors inform you of how soon a bid is due. Blue dates aren't due for at least 24 hours. Red dates are due within 24 hours, and black dates were due more than 24 hours ago. Some bids may display in bold with an expand button on the far left. These bids contain an alternate or change order. Expanding the bid shows the child bid within. Pending change orders have a green C sheet icon, and alternates have a blue A sheet icon. Once accepted, the icons change to include a red checkmark. It's essential to keep your bids tab organized. Sorting is a straightforward way to manage your bids. You can sort bids by clicking the column headings along the top. Clicking the column heading again reverses the sort order. The sorted column contains a triangle. The triangle pointing up means the field is in ascending order, and pointing down means descending order. You'll find additional organizational options in the context menu. Right-click anywhere on the bids tab to view the context menu. Select Group by Job Status to put all your bids into groups based on the status assigned to the bid. When the status changes, simply right-click the bid and change the job status. The bid instantly moves into the correct group. You can add additional job statuses through the Master menu. The Bids tab can also display more pricing details, making it easier to compare bids. Select View from the Context menu to show Detail, Divisions, or sections. Detail lists the total of all conditions, subs, equipment, and other. Select divisions or sections to display the pricing details broken out by division, section, or both. After using QuickBid for a while, everyone eventually ends up with a long list of bids. Finding the one you need among all the other bids can be a real challenge for even the most organized estimators so you can narrow down your list using the filter fields at the top of the screen. You can type anything you want in the first two fields to search by the project's name or primary contact. The job type and estimator fields are drop-down menus, so just select any available option you want to filter by from the list. You can use a filter by itself or in conjunction with others to target a specific set of bids. The primary contact job type, and estimator are all assigned from the bid cover sheet. Ensure you're utilizing those fields in each bid to take full advantage of the filter options. Once you've found the bid you're looking for, you must clear any applied filters. If you don't, you won't see any new bids unless they just so happen to fall into your selected criteria. Click the red X in each field to clear the project name and primary contact filters. To remove the job type and estimator filters, select the All option from the top of the drop-down list in each field. Finally, you can delete a job by right-clicking it and selecting Delete from the context menu, or simply by choosing the job and pressing the Delete key on your keyboard. If you delete a bid, it first moves into the Deleted Bids folder. If you deleted a bid by accident, right-click on the deleted bid and select Restore Bid. If you want to delete a bid permanently, Follow the same steps as before, just inside the Deleted Bids folder. To delete every bid permanently, right-click the Deleted Bids folder and select Empty Deleted Bids folder.